Welcome! Let's see what tuple assignment is and how you can work with it in Python. First of all, what do we use tuple assignment for? Well, we use it to assign values to variables using tuples. This is the key word in all of this video, tuples. We are going to use tuples to assign values to individual variables in just one line. Typically, the assignment statement that we work with is similar to this one right here. We have a single value that is assigned to a single variable using the assignment operator. This one right here, the equal sign. But now we are going to work with tuples. So we are going to have one tuple on this side, on the right hand side of the assignment statement, and we are going to have another tuple on the left hand side of the assignment statement. Still, we have this assignment operator right here. We are assigning a tuple to another tuple. This tuple is going to have multiple values. And this tuple right here on the left is going to have multiple variables. This is the key difference between these two tuples. One of them is going to have values and the other one is going to have variables. And why is this? Well, because we are going to assign these values from this tuple to the variables in this tuple individually. This is an example. Right here we have a tuple that contains three values. This tuple right here, four, five, and six. These values are going to be assigned to the tuple on the left hand side, but they're going to be assigned individually to the variables contained in the tuple. So in this case, we have the variables A, B, and C. Three variables for three values. The value 4 is going to be assigned to the variable A because they match in their position in the tuple. They are both the first element of the tuple from left to right. Then the value 5 is going to be assigned to the variable B. And finally the value 6 is going to be assigned to the variable C. That is basically how tuple assignment works. Each value is assigned to its corresponding variable individually. So, in the program, you can use these variables and they will have their corresponding values. Let's see this with a practical example. If we go to the interactive shell and we write this tuple assignment with A, B, C, and 4, 5, 6, we are going to assign the value 4 to the variable A, the value 5 to the variable B, and the value 6 to the variable C. Let's click enter and see what happens. Now, if we check the value of the variables A, it's 4, exactly what we expected. B is 5, like we expected, and C is 6, has the value 6, exactly like we expected. Each value was assigned to its corresponding variable. Now, another important aspect of tuple assignment is that the length of the tuples must match. Let's see what I mean with this. In this case, the length of the tuple on the left hand side is 3, because there are 3 variables in it, right? But the length of the tuple on the right hand side is 4, because this tuple has 4 values, 4, 5, 6, and 7. These lengths do not match, they are different. In tuple assignment, each value has to have its corresponding variable, so an error will be thrown. A value error that says that there were too many values to unpack because three were expected. We have three variables, so Python was expecting us to pass three values in this tuple, but we have an extra value right here that doesn't have a matching variable right here in the tuple. So we have this error and the operation cannot be performed. So make sure that the length of the tuples match. Another important tip for tuple assignment in Python is that you can omit parentheses. Of course, if this doesn't affect the readability of the code. We have these options. You can omit the parentheses of the left-hand side tuple, and that will work exactly as you expect. Each value is going to be assigned to its corresponding variable, exactly like we would expect with the other, the initial syntax that we used. Another alternative is omitting the parentheses on the right-hand side tuple, the tuple that contains the values. In this case, we don't have any parentheses, but the code will work as expected. Each value will be assigned to its corresponding variable. And finally, you can omit parentheses completely. But notice that you still have to separate the elements with a comma. 
You can see them right here. When you separate the elements with a comma, that will automatically be interpreted as the creation of a tuple. So even if you're not writing the parentheses explicitly, they are still there. And in the computer, that will be interpreted as a tuple. And I know you must be asking, why would I ever want to use tuple assignment? Well, you can use tuple assignment to swap two variables. For example, let's say that we want to swap the values of the variables a and b. So we want the final result to be a with equal to 6 and b equal to 5. We want to exchange or swap these values. How do we do that? Well, if we write the intuitive approach, we could say assign the value of b to a and the value of a to b. But that will not work. If we check the value of a, we see that it is 6. Well, this apparently worked, but now if we check the value of b, we can see that the value is still 6. It's not 5 like we expected. Why? Because when we assign the value of b to a at this point in the code, the value of a right here is equal to 6. So when we assign this value right here, we are assigning the same value 6 to b. And we can fix this using a temporary variable. Let's see how. Right here, we are introducing a temporary variable that is going to store the value of a, this variable right here. So now when we do the swap, we are assigning the correct value to the variable b. Right here, if we check a, the value is 6, and if we check b, the value is 5. Like we expected, the values were swapped. But notice that we are creating a new variable and we have three lines to achieve something that should be simpler. By using a tuple assignment, like you can see right here, we can swap the variables in just one line. Remember that the corresponding values in this case are assigned to their corresponding variables. B is assigned to A and A is assigned to B. And since we're doing that in the same line, we don't have any problems with that. We get exactly what we need. The values are swapped. The value of a is 6 and the value of b is 5. Great, so now you know how to work with tuple assignment. Each value is assigned to its corresponding variable on the left-hand side tuple. Great work! If you like this video, make sure to subscribe so you'll be the first to know when I publish new videos.